Hello, ladies and gentlemen. We are back in Extra Reunion. My name is Extra Reunion, and my name is Afro Luigi. I'm not starting this over again. This is like my fourth try. But yes, we are back in Extra Reunion, where we left off last time. So we were gonna, as I said, we were gonna take a little break from the plot. Also, for the fact the matter is, actually, I'll just show you why we need to take a break, anyways. Message from Nolman Ketun. I think that's how you pronounce that. Um, Armand Kesselon is willing to uh, willing to associate with us. But he requires a 200,000 credit down payment. I'm pretty sure it's a down payment. Just like what first. So we're going to need a lot more money. So we're going to take a break. Do some missions. Pirate, maybe get our rep up. Get some more pipe police licenses to make some money. And of course build some more space stations. So we have a more steady source of income. But before we do that. We are going. We are currently located in. Uh, here we go. We are currently located in Getsufune. As you can see it is in the far east section of the map. So pretty much to get there you can go to Family Wii, head to the east... Ah. Okay, that didn't work. But yeah. Head to the east gate, which is Shareholder's Fortune. Work your way east, south, south, east, 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 north, north, west. And this is where we'll find Getsofune. To the north of the sector is the Xenon sector. To the west of the Xenon sector is an unknown sector, which is which is one which. Attention, security. We got a one seven four on level five in the park. Okay, thank you. Uh, I have to thank the decision now for letting me catch my, catch up my let my let my mouth catch up to my mind. In that unknown sector is an overpowered, well, overshielded, it's not overpowered, it's just an overshielded fighter, a Talati Falcon variant. It's a Talati Falcon variant. Thank you, Sinjin, for pointing that out to me, because I can never remember what that thing is. Talati, uh, there's very few fighters I can identify by memory and sight. But yes, we're going to go through that. Also, something interesting that happened while we, while we, well, when, we, when I was going through the Minilus Paradise, one thing interesting I noticed, Zin Kark Invasion, or Kark Invasion as the game pronounces it. In Manalysis Paradise, so it is it is currently in the process of being decimated, which we're not going to worry about. It may come up later, but anyways, what we're going to do now is we are going to undock, full speed, turn towards the north gate. As you can see, there's a bunch of red blips on the mini map. Oh, not on the mini map, on the screen right in front of us. Uh, gates over there. That is a Xenon squadron. They are not moving to engage. It looks like it looks like they're moving deeper in the system. Or the other possibility is is their sensor range is smaller than us, so they don't they aren't aware we are here yet. Either way, we are on our way to the north gate. Xenon sector five thirty four. Five thirty four is one Auto of the bigger ones, activated. I think. No, one of the bigger ones is is actually yeah, it is one of the bigger ones. So we're on our way there. Uh, also, um, oh, for stats from what I've got for my ship. Oops, that's not what I wanted. Uh. Details. Got 10 megajoules of shields. Not bad. I think that's best this thing can Max speed. Max. I think I've maxed out the acceleration. Maxed out its steering abilities. Shield runners. Um, where is the shields? Compatible shields. Here we go. Oh, I could actually have a third mega, a third shield there, but I'm not going. That costs money. I'm not willing to spend right now, especially since we're going to get ourselves a new freighter, which probably has shields of its own. Hopefully, it has shields of its own. Otherwise, this is going to be a pain in the ass to get it out. Uh, yeah, engine tunings and right rotations fully needed out. Jump drive, I think I'm full up on energy cells as well, so let's check that out before we go, actually. Yep, cargo bay is full, 108 out of 108. We are ready to enter the Xenon Sector 534. And make a break for it. We're going to use a tactic I like to use, where once we're through the gate, if there's no Xenon in range, we... Well, you'll see it in a minute. Entering system, oh. Xenon Sector Autopilot off. Okay, you see, there's a whole bunch of ships. What we're going to do is we're going to go over the gate and just head straight south because that's a lot of ships. And there's two, um, two, there's two carriers, a destroyer, and a whole whack of M3s from up from here where I've highlighted all the way down to scrolling down to here is M3s and followed by a three M5 scout fighters. We can't fight that. So we're going to head south until they're all out of sensor range. Because we are currently fast, since they're all traveling in wings, we're faster than all of them. The Xenon destroy destroyer, though, is moving to engage. Actually, we don't need to move totally out of range. Now we do this. And we just keep them on the very edge out of weapon range. Oh, LX. Um, the LX fighters. 
Um, the Xenon L is a basic large fighter, well, basically a heavy fighter. The LX is the heavy fighter plus. Which I th think was introduced in the 2.5, either the 2.0 or the 2.5 patch in X Reunion. But that doesn't matter. We're not going to worry about capping it right now. Uh, it's closing in on us because I turned too quickly, but it's fine. We're, we're they're falling behind again. So now we need to get ourselves into position. I'm pretty sure the gate is to the north and just to the west. So let's zoom in again. Pretty sure the gate's over here. Pilot activated. I have a funny feeling it's behind that asteroid just to the bottom of the screen there. So we're going to find out. Yeah, there's a cluster of asteroids here. Huh. Okay, I'm actually going to head down to that asteroid. I'm pretty sure it's down here somewhere. Ah, that one over there. It's way off... It, Unknown sectors are usually way off, usually way off the beaten track. Sometimes you get them fairly close. There's the gate right there. And there's the Xenon Fighter Squadron. We want to stay out of range. They haven't seen us yet. Oops. Yep, they haven't seen us. So we're good. Zoomed in. We're, they're nice. They're just above us. They're not moving to engage. It looks like we've made it through the system. I'm going to call it here now because that's the gate right down there. Although there's another fighter squadron there. Where are they going? Have they seen us? Three fighters we could take on. But they didn't see us. So apparently the Xenon are aware of this sector here. Gate autopilot activated. Off we go. On a grand adventure. And that's pretty... Yeah, so that'll be this. We're going to get this other firefighter. Now the hard part's getting that. I think I'm going to do the exact same tactic we just did, except in reverse, where we fly this fighter out of the system while we use the jump drive to get the heavy fighter which we're getting out. Unknown sector oh as you can see off. one thing you can see over here just off to the side here do I have a yep destroyed gate which there's no information in the system but there's def there's definitely something in here at one point because whatever and whatever it was it was important enough that a gate was destroyed if I do remember, that there's this ship right down there. You can see it on the map now. This sector is also a really good sector for finding space flies. If you guys are curious about that. Well, at least it was. I actually never was able to find space flies here. I always found them by random chance. But the way you'd find a space fly is you'd come to a complete stop. And you'd look for tiny little moving dots along the, around the asteroids. Which we can't see, so we're going to continue on. Yeah, you can't. They're harder to see when you're moving because you get all these little streaks, as you can see here. If you if you're got a big enough screen, or or if you're looking close enough. Falcon Sentinel. There we go, Falcon Sentinel. It does have shields. It's not much to look at, as you're going to see in a minute. Once we come to a complete stop, I'll show it. Here we go. Not much to look at. Just a basic Tlati fighter. Not so, nothing spectacular. I think it's also got a pretty good cargo hold. Can't. Uh, it's not very quick, so you need definitely needs overtuning. Once we, we, we definitely need, um, like I pointed out in a few episodes ago, there's the Pandora tunings. Um, we'll have to get definitely has um, has both Sinjin recommended and I'd recommend. Um, yeah, over overtune this little sucker because um, 73 meters per second, not very fast. And what shields are down here? It can store. Two 125 megajoule shields. So, 
beautiful little fighter. I don't think it comes with any guns though, but we'll find out as we get closer and claim it. At the very least, we can transfer all our guns from this thing over. Falcon, Sentinel, ship computer control, transferred. Falcon, Sentinel, Buster. Yeah, right. This game doesn't allow you to use the boost. Engine time acceler autopilot Oops, uh, autopilot stupid autopilot. Off. Let's see what our new fighter has. Falcon, Sentinel. We can do a freight transport already. It, um, oh, it comes with high energy plasma throwers and a rear turret. And, well, yeah, and a rear turret. Beautiful. Two Hornet missiles. Eh, speed could do with, him, well, of course, need to be improved. Yeah, one run rear turret. Beautiful. Uh, concussion impulse generator? Might look into getting one of those. That's a parented weapon, I think. Comes with a mineral scanner, singular engine, trading system extension. Not a bad little... And it comes with fighter drones. That actually... I'll sell those. I don't use fighter drones in these games. So, what we're going to do now... Oops, not what I wanted to do. Uh, select Last a star again. Um... Not what I wanted to do at all. So let's try this again. Buster. Okay. Now let's try this again. Falcon. Sentinel. Target freight transfer. We want to transfer all our energy cells over. Energy cells. Transfer. Oh, it can't store many energy cells. Oh, that's because of the fighter drones and stuff. Makes sense. It doesn't need to go very far, though. Next, we'll transfer over jump the jump drive. drive. Transfer. And the navigation, navigation system computer. Navigation command. Transferred. Uh, jump and fly to station. I think we're going to try to get her all the way down to bluish snout. Just because that's farther Locking away from the Xeno granted. sector. Command accepted. So we're going to stay here and watch and make sure she gets there. No aim. Just to double check, she's going to the right. M gamma. Granted. Command accepted. Just gonna watch her, make sure she gets there. Beautiful, she made it. So now we're gonna head back. Asteroid. What was that on my mini map? There's something on my mini map. Oh, the gate's actually showing up, is what I'm seeing on the mini-map. Well, not not the, the gate, but the destroyed gate. So we get... Oh, we don't get any encyclopedia entry on that. But, beautiful. We, have our now, we now have a new overpowered fighter, and we're good to go. It comes with great weapons. It's fully shielded. All we need to do is do some uh, treasure hunts. Game. Xenon sector autopilot activated. Actually, you know what? I'm just going to start straight away by doing this. Oops, wrong one. West gate, zoom out, go as far south as you want, and then. Okay, I want to go down there. Autopilot activated. That was easy. Uh, it's getting out that's the hard part. Actually, let's make sure she actually gets to where we want her to go. And she did. Beautiful. So, first project for that thing will be increasing its cargo hold, selling the fighter drones, because that will make us a decent amount of money. It actually might make... It probably will make us enough Entry to get system. a new... to continue on with the plot. Xenon, sector 534. But I actually don't want to continue on with the plot yet, because... From what I remember of what happens next, is we're going to end up having to spend a lot of money. So, we want to have lots of money to spend. Did they see us? Sweet, no one saw us. Beautiful. Let's just head straight there. Hopefully nothing bad happens if we do head straight to the gate. 
because we are technically off the patrol route, but we're not out of the spawn area. Well, something can hypothetically something could spawn between us and that gate. Uh, there's something off to the west of us. It's not showing up on the gravitar, so we're good. Is it seeing us? Nope, it's just patrolling. And there's something right between us and us in the gate. Going south. It definitely saw us, though. I want to keep it on my map. Because where there's one, there's more. Yeah, as long as we can get around it, we'll be able to get out of Getsofunia alive. Actually, I think I have auto save insurance. I think I have salvage insurance. I should have probably have used that. But right now, I'm more focused on getting out of the system, which I eh, hard to tell right now. Because once again, we got to we still have to get to the gate. And if that if if they shoot a certain some missiles at us, we might not be able to make it. Why did it just stop? I don't know, but uh. There are things right on top of the gate. Great. Fighters, a, ca a corvette. And the corvette's heading into the gate, isn't it? Crap, we're going to have to deal with that once we get to the other side. Uh, we are faster than the corvette, so we might just have to do evasive maneuvers. But I definitely want to get out of the system. Another Xenon destroyer down there. Through the gate. I think the Xenon P, the Corvette, I think it's doing a migration, so it might not be a threat. Might be in the keyword here. Entering system. Get through. Uh, the Corvette's right above us. Let's head to the uh, equipment dock down there. Oh, and they're all swarming us. They Definitely a threat. Might be better just to make a run for it. Let's check out those ends. Max speed. Oh, they definitely outrun us. Uh, we could dogfight those and make a run for it. Let's check the M's. We can outrun that one. We can outrun that one. And we can outrun that one. So if we have to dogfight the ends, we'll... We well we can right now. I'm just gonna make a run for it. Actually, while well, I'm worrying about this, uh, how long do I have? I have plenty of time. No, pilot statistics. No, I don't have any salvage insurance. But I'm going to tentatively celebrate that we've made it out of there. That we still have to get through the um, Kaaki inva um, invasion. Which well, should be clear if I remember. Let's have a look at the map. More or less, it's a straight shoot. So it shouldn't be too bad. All, all the. Uh, Menelaus's paradise. Autopilot uh, all the enemy ships should have moved to the far side of the system. Because gates are something no one can target because they're a neutral fra faction to everything. Although interestingly enough, if you attack the gate, you can still you might I think you can still get rep loss, reputation loss that is. I know that was an issue because I in, in when I first started playing, I was setting up one of the sectors to be my little home base system. Entering system, Menelaus's paradox autopilot. I installed a. Uh, Autopilot activated. I installed a mod to let me tow the gates to be in better positions, and I got warning. I got told off for doing that by the race. Uh... Car destroyer. Oh, it's heading straight at Autopilot me. Autopilot off. Uh, let's go up. It doesn't look like she saw me.
No, she was just patrolling. I managed to st I managed to get out of her way before she st her uh I got within sensor range of her. But now that we're on the other side of her, uh, there's a bunch of fighters down there that are being destroyed by a boron. Yeah, border controls, but they're going to be ripped apart. Oh, those are not even uh th those ah eh, those aren't even uh cock ships. They're uh pirates. So now that we've got on the other side of that, gate. let's get out of here. Autopilot activated. Once we're through that gate, that'll be the end of this episode. And next episode, we will celebrate by having a little look-see through of our new ship. I'll actually, I'll probably play with it a bit off camera, and I might start looking for a Pandora uh, tuning missions beforehand to get us started on one of those. Entering system, bluish autopilot off. I think that's the gamma one up there. Solar power no. plant M beta. But anyways, that that's it for this Asteroid. episode. We now have ourselves an overshielded um, Pilates fighter with high energy plasma throws, which are the um, one of the better, which are, I think, mid-tier weapons, high-tier for fighters, um, average-tier for capital ships, I think. Don't quote me on this. I there's two, This game, this X3 has a lot more weapons compared to previous games, and it only gets worse in later versions of the X3 games. But that'll be it for this episode. I will see you guys in the next episode, and I hope you enjoyed this. Bye!